Hi everyone, it's Jenny here from Pegso. In today's video, we're going to dive into managing users within workspaces in Pegso. Workspaces are an excellent way to organize your clients' accounts and manage team members' access, ensuring they only see the workspace relevant to their tasks. This is especially useful for agencies and large teams. Your plan determines the number of workspaces you get and how many users you can assign to each one. In this video, I'll walk you through the steps to manage users in your workspace effectively. Let's start with the users section. Here you will find three tabs, members, sent invitation and pending invitation. Starting with the first tab, members. This tab shows all current members of your workspace. You can see their name, email and their role. To invite a new member, click the new user button. Here you can enter their name, their email address and assign them a role. Members can be one of three roles, admin, editor or viewer. Admins have almost all the permissions of an owner, but cannot remove the owner. Admins can send invitations, but cannot make billing changes. Billing changes are exclusive to the owner. The next one is editor. Editors can manage automations and workflows, including running them or scheduling them, uh, as well as connecting integrations. They can also access core workspace settings, but cannot change them. And the last role is viewer. Viewers have view only access, allowing them to see data automations and integrations, as well as download automation for further processing. Admins are ideal for team leaders who need extensive access, but don't handle billing. Editors are perfect for team members who are focused on daily operations, while viewers are suited for stakeholders who need to monitor progress without making any changes. Once you enter their name, email and their role, you can click add and that is going to send them an invitation. For more details on permissions, you can check out our guide in Texo Help Center. Here you will find a comprehensive breakdown of what each role can and cannot do, helping you assign the right role to each team member. Next, we're going to review the Sent Invitations tab. Here, you can see all the invitations that you have sent to others to join your workspace. You can track the status of these invitations and you can resend them if necessary. The third tab is the pending invitations. This tab shows all the invitations that you have received to join other workspaces. This helps you keep track of your access requests and manage your involvement in, in multiple projects or teams efficiently. If you want to change a user's role or remove them, Simply select the user, adjust their role and hit save. This feature is handy for quickly updating responsibilities as team dynamics change. If you'd like to remove a user, you can click on the delete button and your user will be deleted. Regularly reviewing and updating user roles can significantly enhance your team's productivity and security. What we advise you is to ensure that each team member has the appropriate level of access to perform their tasks without unnecessary permissions. So that's it about managing users in your workspace. It's straightforward with Texo. Keep your team organized and ensure everyone has the access they need to be productive. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.